Hey guys, how's it going? So, the Moto Z, Moto Mods got announced, and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it, like my thoughts, my real thoughts. And the media seems to be taking it in one direction, man. Whenever the news comes out, something related to Motorola, it seems like they just want to attack and attack and attack. It's all clickbait articles about Motorola going down. All the negatives, like they don't focus on the highlights at all. It's like right now they're glorifying pretty much everything, giving everyone raving reviews like they're doing something new. Everyone's pretty much just finally catching up and doing what they should have been doing in the first place. And they still aren't even up to that yet. And Motorola is on a whole nother level, and then they want to talk about, oh, it's a, it's, an, it's an exclusive to Verizon, oh, it's never going to work on Spring. Yeah, there are some negatives to it. You know, of course, they still don't know pricing. They're already complaining about how motor mods are too expensive, and they're all focusing on the negatives. And I just, it's just like tough to see, but you know what? That's the tech world. That's like me on Google Plus. I'm going on Twitter and I'm look actively looking for this stuff, and that's what I find. But when you talk to somebody that doesn't even follow that crap, when you talk to somebody about the phone, you show them what it can do. You see, they're actually amazed, and they should be, and we should be, and we should be focusing on what a uh, what a powerful movement that Motorola is doing. And not only that, I mean, did you see what they did? What they've been what they've been going through. They pretty much started from the beginning and then they were sold to Google and then sold to Lenovo. So they went through all of this and throughout this whole process, they've been moving the industry forward. People are following them. They are like the quiet leaders. They've been changing the, the game. They've been keeping us from being bored. They've been making things interesting just quietly while they go through all of this. And then even then now, even though like big people are leaving the vision, is still there and they're creating a whole new platform they created the first snap phone like this is like modularity is still in the future gonna be is the future this phone is semi-modular so it takes the modularity aspect of things but it keeps the beauty of the phones that we know of today because if you look at project air phones they don't look that they're not gonna look beautiful because all the parts need to be removable this is like a step before that, like it's something in the middle, it's completely balanced. Now you get a beautiful phone that's going to last you at least two years. And then you get these mods, these mods that are going to work for the phones and future phones for up to three years. So that means the next two Moto Z models will have mods that work. So once, like let's say when that new, the third Moto Z comes out, all the mods that are already out will work for that phone. So you get all these accessories, you get this giant ecosystem and then... Yo, they've given the devs everything that they need to create their own, and they have that contest when the best motor mod gets, I believe, is it five million dollars or a million dollars? I believe. So, in all honesty, I am excited about the Moto Z and the Moto Z Force. Yes, it's sad that they are a Verizon exclusive. It's sad that. Sprint customers will likely never be able to access it. We still have the Moto Z Play that's coming So maybe that one will be like an unlocked version that works in all the carriers that hopefully I just don't want them to You know to start this beautiful platform that they obviously want to work Moto Mods. It's Incredible. I mean your phone can be anything you want it to be. They are they just created a phone a single phone or actually or three different versions of a phone that can essentially be whatever that user wants it to be. Like before, if you look at phones that had a built-in protector, like Samsung did that, that phone was kind of ugly. And not everyone wanted that. But then, and then you'd have to create a whole other phone just for that, which took time and money. But now you have one phone, and then you have accessories that can turn it into everything. Asus, I believe, just made a, a, a Zoom phone. And they've done them, like, look at the Galaxy camera. That was, like, trying to be a phone and a camera in one. Look how bulky those are. Look how hideous. Like, no one wants to have a phone that looks like that all the time. But when you can have a sexy phone like the Moto Z, and then you can have a mod that just attaches to the back, and whenever you need it to be, boom, it's a pro camera. It's got a, this one has a 10 times optical zoom. It's the rumored one by Hasselblad. Um, but, yeah, it has that. It has the um, bigger flash as well. And it's got a whole new sensor, a whole new 16 megapixel sensor. So, I mean, you look at that, they've just created a phone that can literally work for anyone. 
you got the projector which is just awesome you have the camera like i just said you have these style mods if you just want to change the look of it without having to like return the phone you can do like the wood and everything and all these new designs you have the waterproof one which is also another rumored one you have the speaker one which is awesome so you have a party wherever you go you have the battery packs which they look good and they they charge up your phone so like now you don't even need like a power pack anymore you just like you can carry your phone you know sexy show it off with your style mod and when you need some battery take out the style mod put on the battery mod and boom good to go so you can live your life how you want you can decide so whatever lifestyle that you have and so many more mods to come like even that little holographic laser keyboard that we've seen for so many years that some people thought were, was a real thing is almost a reality someone is working on a mod to do that and the sky is the limit and like the possibilities are endless the things that we could do this is literally motorola changing the game and yes i say motorola because because motorola was working on this lenovo was trying to do, make this happen before but they couldn't but motorola came in the game they've been trying to do this forever they've been listening to us they've been trying to answer the question they've been wanting to satisfy everyone but of course it's so hard to do that well now you have a phone it has the basic basic requirements that everyone wants nice build quality nice screen good camera good battery life it has all those things and then you now you have you have the base and literally just add to it as you want if you're just a basic person you don't need anything just use it you're fine it comes with a little bag that'll make it flush and you're good to go just live your life but if you want more you got the motor mods baby oh my god it's so crazy how we live in a world where the media is completely ignoring this and they're all talking about one plus three which is just a glorified phone with glorified specs that don't that don't mean anything like that phone has no future it has no future it's a nice phone i'm sure people will be happy with it but it has no ecosystem it's not regular android it's Cyan energy mod they're good but they're slower with updates than anybody else so what's the point so it's crazy that the tech world is so focused on that right now and focused on like iPhone and things like that. When Motorola just changed the game, they took out the headphone jack. They just really, they're beating everyone to their game and they're taking, and they're doing it so skillfully. They're not even bragging about it. They just, they, it's like it's nothing. It's like it's a game to them. It's like, yo, we are 10 steps ahead of you. And these people are scared. You're going to see like the Samsung fans and the Apple fans. They're going to try to d dismiss this phone. But you know why? It's because they're scared. This is a game changer. And if you look at the polls, GSM Arena just released a poll. The public loves this phone. They're interested. And they should be. We should be. And we should be talking about it. So those are my thoughts on the Model Z. Let me know what your, your thoughts are. And we can talk about them in the comment section below. Hit me up on Google+, Instagram, Twitter, and all that. And I'll see you guys on the next one.